So what we have now is one of our other partners, Axis Communications. And the nice thing I like about this, Ryan, is that what we've been able to do is take what would be a police car, right? Yep. And we've equipped it with some of your technology. So give us an idea of what's in this car right now. Then we'll talk about how we're communicating back to the Striker One. Okay, so what, what we're trying to do here is showcase some of the Axis Communications platform of network video cameras for mobility applications. So installed in the car right now, as you move around, we'll be able to see the different cameras, but we have five HD enabled network cameras that are installed throughout the car. Push bumper, driver, passenger, rear ceiling, trunk mount cameras here as well. So you get a full 360 okay. degree view of what's coming on uh, at the car. Everything is coming back to this device here, which is our NVR. This is doing all the recording of the video locally so that you can store video locally, have high quality video How locally. How many hours can I get on that? This device you can have up to two terabytes of storage in it. Two terabytes. So for five cameras, you're well over 30 days of storage, depending on the compression and five the resolution. Five cameras, high def, 30 high. frames per second. Absolutely. I could store that on here, two terabytes of storage. Absolutely. So that, that's basically the brains of the operation here. And then the nice thing is partnering with Alcatel Lucent yourself, using your LTE technology, we're able to stream all this video upload it to a command center, to another patrol car, anywhere that's LTE enabled. So with, with, LTE, with an LTE modem in here, what we'd be able to do is while this car would be in motion, somebody could actually access the camera, Absolutely. see the video, or if the officer or whoever this camera might be on a fire truck isn't able to view it and you know, watch it as they're driving, actually somebody could go back in and replay the video looking for key events or things that might have happened, right? Absolutely. Somebody could be using a client back at the dispatch center to come in to view what's on this. They could see the cameras live as they are in the car, or they could be looking at recorded video that's already been and done. And if I combine this with things like automated vehicle location, you know, where I see where everything is, I could actually pick out the vehicle that's closest to the incident, look at all the cameras, and then pick out the best camera and stream that camera back, right? Absolutely. It's the beauty of the network, right? Yeah, it's, and the network has no concept of distance, so we could actually, you know, an officer could be away from this car, but this thing would still be streaming video live back. Absolutely. And do I have the capability to turn on and off cameras or switch between cameras easily if I wanted to? You do. Using the video management system, you have the ability to see all the cameras that are on the system, and based on that, the operator or the officer can decide what they want to view uh, dynamically. Yeah, and I think actually this is probably one of the first demonstrations of, of in-car camera systems over LTE and showing the value of it, right? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Yeah, it's another first. So I really like this. And so when a department puts this in, what they get is they get the five cameras, they get the storage, you know, and obviously with the Alcatel Lucent network and the, and the LTE modem, what they've actually done is gone before to where you have to wait till somebody comes back in and uploads the video to where now if there's something they need, they can access it in real time over the air and see it as just the officer would have seen it, right? Absolutely, so Big real time, on officer. demand. Actually, another great partner, another great uh, innovation from our partner Access Communications, working with Alcatel Lucy. So we're back here with Terry, former semi-pro all-star basketball player, but uh, now with Live View. So, uh, no, just kidding, Terry. I mean, if you were making that kind of money, we wouldn't be having this in That's a conversation, true. right? And although right. I did play ball, but not pro. Okay, well, hey, look. What we have right here is this isn't just about a camera, right? But the camera really is attached to your technology, right? Correct. And our technology here is seven different cell modems plus an LTE on the side to make eight different ways to connect the, the backpack to your server in your studio to send video back. Eight different technologies you're combining together, right? Correct. Uh, Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, LTE, LTE, and you can get Wi-Fi on here. And if you're at a static location, you can hook it up to a LAN connection as well. It'll combine and, and, and bind all that into one. And so the nice, what, what Eric's got here in the backpack, this is kind of the screen, but the, the important thing about this is that, Eric, if you can turn around for a second, we've got the camera. What it is is we're broadcasting that picture now up to here, and just for the folks know, I mean, there's a little bit of a delay because we've got it going back to a server Correct. over the internet, right? Correct, right Right now we have it connected via the air cards to the internet up up, up there in the towers. Somewhere the in there. Ta the tower comes back down to a studio server, whether it's a broadcast server or on the internet, a cloud server. Right now it's going to a cloud server, so there's going to be a bit of a delay. We've got it set to uh, three different profiles. We have interview mode, in case you need just like a second delay. We have uh, balance, which is about seven seconds, and then we have max quality, which does about a 15 second delay. And that's what we're set at right now because we're going to a, a virtual server, so we're trying to get the best picture out of it. And we're can. also public, so in case Eric does anything we don't like, we can cut we, him out, We right? can, yes, we can hit the button real quick. <laughs> and bleep Eric out of the picture. That's right? right. So let's talk a little bit about how you might use this for public safety. So 
a lot of times the problem is the first person there doesn't have a satellite truck with them, right? But they Correct. need video from the scene and they want high quality video and they may not know what network's there. So what you're telling me is that we could take a technology like this, be the first into a scene, regardless of what the connections is, I, I could have three or four different companies there, but I could take all of their different networks bring them together, aggregate that bandwidth, and now I have something that's faster than any individual single network. And correct, it's obviously going to be faster than a, than a satellite truck too. In a satellite truck, you have the other uh, inherent issues of being tethered to the ground. So you're obviously tied into one place. Um, a quick synopsis here, um, G20. G20, we have a couple of broadcast affiliates. I don't know if we can name the names or not, um, but they were tied to satellite trucks. They couldn't move anywhere, so they had to pick where they're going and, and their end spot, and they had to stay there as were a couple other broadcasters had our backpacks on, and they actually went with the protesters and roamed through the streets with them as they marched. They were able to follow the news, follow the event, and transmit exactly. that back. From, from start to finish. So what you're telling me is that we've basically untethered the ability to take high quality video, which would be broadcast quality too, things oh, yes, that yes. citizens were used to see, right? And broadcast that back basically from anywhere. Correct, correct. As long as you've got a, a, a tower that you can get some data reception from, or you have a uh, ethernet cable, then yes, yes. And the nice thing about this is you've got multiple partners, but right now we're seeing this over uh, which server and which company? Uh, we're sh shooting through uh, Ustream right now. So we actually got a cloud uh, server out there that we're shooting to. It's producing an FME stream um, and pushing it to the Ustream FMS server. And so but what that basically means is if I have an incident, and I, I mean, I can make it secure, right? But I could create, when I, once I log on, it creates a URL, right? Just a web correct, address. Correct. I publish that real quick, and anybody who I want to see that can log in and see the same video, right? Definitely, and you can password protect it, or you can just put it out there for the public. So if I wanted to, I could password protect it, but I could also bring it up on multi, in fact, you were telling me earlier, you had it up on your Droid. We could I see was. it on an iPad, correct. on an iPhone, a Playbook. Anything that's browser-based, we could pull it up on, right? A any device that, uh, has uh, internet access basically, whether it's a watch, a, a phone, or whatever it may be. And with all the smartphones out there, there's obviously applications that people can download and Correct. use, right? Correct, live stream, you stream, some of our partners, they have uh, applications that you can put on iPads, droids, all that kind of good stuff. So what I'd like to do real quick, is just I mean, the proof's in the pudding, right? People say, oh, can you really do that? But you had a setting here on the back of the screen that showed all the different networks we happen to be connected to right now. Correct. Can we see that real quick? So right here we have your touch screen. If we touch the settings right here, we can actually go to the interface buttons, and in the interface, we can actually see what modems are connected and what the bandwidth is. It'll give us a, a rating on the side, obviously. You can go into each modem separately. And it'll give you the, the kilobytes on each side right here, what they're connecting at. And you can scroll down. You can also see the LTE connected here. And it'll basically give you a, a rating of all of them connected together. And it's taking all of those and pulling them and aggregating them all together into a single, basically a single connection. Correct, correct. Um, if you have a problem with a single modem, you can just click on it and hit deactivate, actually. And you would just hit the deactivate button. Say it's, there's too much of a delay on it, you can take it out of rotation if you'd like. So obviously, we're taking fast networks, combining them with even faster networks to get a really fast network out of this, right? Correct, it's not just going across a single modem. It's not saying I, I want this modem because it's fast. It's taking them all, put them in as one pipe and then sending it back out there. That's amazing. And obviously a lot of applications in public safety for first in, for incident uh, work, uh, for transmission. Now, will this do voice as well, or right now is it just video? Oh, no, it's doing voice as well. If you were to turn that up, you'd hear us talking right now. Oh, that may not be a good thing. So uh, <laughs> we don't want this to get out to the internet, folks. So, okay. But that's the point, voice and video, uh, yep. sharing that instantly to anybody, anywhere. Audio and video is actually embedded over the SDI cable that we're using. If we, if we had FireWire plugged into a, any kind of low-grade consumer camera, which you could use as well, it's audio and video embedded in that as well. Amazing. So, Terry, thanks for being in the booth. You guys no see great technology combining it with what's currently out there along with LTE, I mean it really, LTE starts changing everything and it really changes the quality of what you can do with this with LTE, right? Correct, and once actually all the carriers are doing LTE, this is gonna be a really fast box. What's well, really fast now is gonna be wicked fast, Corvette fast like Glenn Stite says, that's right. Correct, correct. All right, so thanks again, Terry. Appreciate Not you being in the Thank booth. You. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back again. Now I've got another one of our super secret special technician, Joe Damati, but Joe's been responsible for helping integrate this vehicle, Joe. So what I'd like to do is for everybody here, we've got a lot of Alcatel Lucent technology in here. We've got some partner technology in here. So real quick, walk us through what we have in so, here right now. Okay, so we've integrated into this vehicle. We have two 19 inch equipment racks that the operator can control from this side while he's sitting in the vehicle. We have different systems in here. We have four PCs that we can run four separate applications on. 
We have a bunch of monitors all set up outside the vehicle that are streaming into the vehicle that we can have streaming content into the vehicle that we can send then out over LTE if, if we need to. Our equipment on this side includes our Omni switch that we're using for backhaul and we also have our integrated EPC that's built into these, these and uh, Joe, PCs. What's, uh, and for a lot of folks, so what's an EPC and really kind of what does it do? The EPC is our enhanced packet core. That's the basically the brains behind LTE. And we're controlling all, the whole, all of the LTE equipment, the LTE cells, the uh, the packet gateway, the signaling gateway, everything interfaces through the EPC in order to bring LTE service 4G technology to and the world. And what Glenn showed earlier is the combination of that. This we, this is actually a complete LTE network on wheels, right? This is absolutely a complete network on wheels. This right. the entire thing is in this one car. So now we've got a couple uh, rack mount PCs here that you use to control some stuff. So but actually before we do this though, one of the things I think people can see right now is we've got a couple video phones in here, right? Absolutely. So if I call you right now, from an iPad, right? So we're using the same application that you saw us do before when we did the radio integration, right? So now I'm going to do a video call. And now as you see on here, a little bit of latency there. There's our camera guy. Whoops. Anyway, but we'll get, we'll get rid of the uh, latency here. And I'll end the call here. But what we've just shown is that I could have been anywhere with this, right? Absolutely. Again, four-digit dial automatically come up on this video phone. So you could have not just been having a voice conversation, but a video conversation with somebody on another device somewhere. Absolutely. Right? So let's get in on showing what we're doing with a couple of these uh, rack mount PCs here now. Okay, so what we have in here also that you can see is we have these monitors and keyboards that are integrated into the rack. This one here is showing one of our applications, which is Genetech whole bunch of different streaming applications you've probably seen a little bit before. But we have uh, cameras that are over in the access car coming over here. There are other cameras around the facility. And these are the cameras that we're also seeing on the big monitors on the screen outside, right? Right. And again, the, we have the switcher over here that allows us to switch all of our internal inputs, our internal applications to the outside so people can see what's going on inside the car. Okay, on this side of the rack we have another monitor that we can pull out and show you here with these other two PCs on this side. This is our connection manager that we have brought up our LTE call and all of the PCs in the vehicle are then uh, linked to LTE through this one uh, connection. We can go to the other connection over here and now we're using this laptop as our interface into our EPC, our enhanced packet core. And you can see everything's enabled. It brought up all the different uh, processors that are involved with LTE in order to make this call happen. So this is how we monitor the system and bring the system up if we need to, to make any changes. But actually there's something neat behind it. So if we can close the lid, we actually have one of our partners um, that we've integrated. And actually it's like, uh, I think we're one of the first people to do this, right? So this is the ACU 5000 from Raytheon. So tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely, this is our, the ACU 5000. Raytheon supplied that to us for the show. And what we're doing is we're integrating that uh, with our radios in here and, and also with the P25 radios that we have around the booth and over at Raytheon's booth. So we're, we're making all of these connections through the ACU 5000 along with the LTE back. So when we connected earlier using the same application, we're talking on it with the radio, this was actually what was helping us connect the radio to the iPad over P25 and over voice over IP over LTE, right? Absolutely. So this is a great, brand new, great capability. What it does is it increases our ability, right, to bring in all the different kinds of voice uh, conversations and tie, start tying those together, right? Absolutely. It's, it interfaces with the radio world into the IP world right here. That's very good. So uh, what would you say the top speed of this thing is? 110, 120? <laughs> Just kidding. LTE is faster than this vehicle by far, LTE right? is much faster, yes, believe me. <laughs> So, no, hey, good job, Joe. All right, thank Thanks, you. buddy. It's real good stuff inside here, and the best thing about it, this is all powered by Alcatel Lucent, right? Absolutely. Alcatel Lucent back home.